All right. Next one up. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I don't know if you guys can answer this. I was just wondering, are the is Marvel limited to like Marvel original characters or any character that has been done by Marvel before, like I don't know, Star Wars or has been in Marvel comics? Oh, I see. Instance. I see. Yeah, no, this game is all about Marvel characters in the Marvel universe. Like it's uh, like we we are not considering uh, any uh, characters outside of the Marvel universe. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. It's a great game. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Uh, first of all, let me just say that I got a chance to play the the alpha, and the game feels amazing. It was amazing to play. A really nice job. Um, so people have been asking mostly about uh, IP and all that. I wanna I wanna get into game balancing for the future. Just a couple of questions. So first of all, are there any plans to more for the competitive side of the game to make any uh, split on the the amount of vanguard dps and strategies in each team so is there a, a plan to make two to two split or something like that that's still in discussion and we've tried some different things and we're looking forward to player feedback on that to help us guide uh you know one of the things we love to do is engage obviously with you guys with the community and hear what you've got to say and what you think about it and so that's the really kind of important feedback we'd be looking for in the future so yeah there's been lots of discussions around it i don't have any uh, definitive answer for you at the moment but we'll definitely keep it on the radar and talk more about it in the future okay and my second question basically follows that up which is is that are there plans to basically make the future roster um a bit more split between the, the three roles. So there isn't that 90% uh, DPS and the other characters are Vanguard and, and Strategist. Yeah, I think that one of the goals for the game is we want to attract as many different types of players as we can. And having uh, different proportions on the different roles is important for that. So we want to appeal to all types of players and give them lots of different options to play for their different play style. Whether you prefer being, you know, a support type character or, or up in the, the front of the battle toe to toe, we want to give you a lot of different options. So we're definitely looking at balancing and expanding that moving forward. All right. So that was it. Thank you for, for answering the questions and really good job, guys. Keep, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Good questions. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. We can hear you. Coming in awesome, awesome. So I have a question because one of my favorite things that I like about games is the story. I love seeing a great story evolve. So I, I just want to know how you guys plan to evolve the story that I'm already super interested in. <laughs> so whenever we have new characters, new map, new whatever, mm -hmm. you will be guaranteed that we will treat this story uh like very seriously, like in terms of we'll wrap it in the environment, we'll wrap it with the character dialogues, we'll wrap everybody, even existing cast, you know, there will be changes to how they talk to each other uh, based on the, the, the world view of, of the current like season, if you will, right? So yeah, look forward to this story being built layer upon layer. And we also have chance to introduce more new content, new story arc later down the line. So yeah. Story is everything about Marvel games. Awesome. I mean, from what I read during the, the, the alpha and all the character lore, I mean, it already seems awesome. Yeah, and we're going to continue building upon that. Awesome. awesome. Well, that's the only question I had. So, so thank you for having me, and thank you for everything you guys have done for the game. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is Samuel's Redemption arc. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I don't speak English. Mm, uh, como? Rapidinho. Uh, I don't speak English and I try speak my doubles. Okay. Uh, the Julie beta will start on the first. The Julie beta will start on the first. I played, 
is at the end of the month of July. Yeah, late July. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Samuel. Thanks, Thank Samuel. You. Here's the hero's journey. <laughs> <laughs> Redemption out. <Yep. laughs> Hello. Um, you might remember I was the guy in the server right a while back, one of the live streams. I was the I'm a huge Doctor Strange fan. I've read every Doctor Strange comic ever. Nice. Um, I just wanted to request, please, please add a general Strange skin for Doctor Strange from the newest run of Doctor Strange comics. We will take that into consideration. <laughs> Big Doctor Strange fan. I am. Also, favorites. Also, when is the music from Marvel Rivals coming out to Spotify? Well, I know, but I won't tell you. <laughs> it, is it, 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 it will come when it comes. So you, you will be sure to know about it. But I, I mean, like, look, Model Rival has, has a great soundtrack. Uh, we, we plan to expand upon it. We're going to touch upon it more in the future beat uh, about who composed the music, you know, the, the, basically the sound. Um, uh, of Marvel Rivals, basically. And uh, we'll talk about this more in, in the later date. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys going for time? Uh, I don't see any people coming. Let's go. Keep, con keep, right. keep going. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Let's go. Hello. Hello. So my question here is, will there be any moveset changes from the e Old beta to the new one? The old alpha to the new one. Probably yes. not that much changes. Uh, it's probably some stat changes, yeah, maybe. Some balance changes. Balance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and two new characters, and it's on PlayStation and Xbox. But apart Other from that, that, just say him is. Okay, just, gotcha. Well, thank you, yeah. and have a nice day. Yeah, and then, and, and then we'll probably pluck some exploits. So. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I'll I'll make sure to look out for those exploits. Yes, yeah. and then tell us about them. So yeah, so you know them out. <laughs> I'll keep like one to myself, just so I can, you know, grant. I know. Classic. Thank you. Any day. Uh, hey. Hey, Lou. Uh, hello. I I actually did not get to play the beta, but I've been watching gameplay footage for the entire time. The game looks amazing. Um, I was wondering if you guys were going to consider an open beta at some point. So this is a large scale closed beta. It's, mm. uh, it's been significantly larger than the closed alpha. So um, depends on on what, what we do with the closed beta, maybe. But uh, right now we just focus on having a great close beta. Alright. Fingers crossed I make it next time. But um I was gonna <laughs> if, ask if I didn't go well in, in, in close beta, I mean why why not? Oh yeah, no. Uh it's yeah. like I said, it just watching it looks fun. So uh, I I hope you get to play it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Um I was gonna also ask what do you think the biggest scale for a character you would do, uh, considering like Marvel characters get pretty crazy. Uh, I really like Venom just looking like he's from a, a horror movie sometimes. The way he like, slides across the ground. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we work closely with Net the Netis team. Like, we, you know, when, when we talk about having a new character, you know, we look at a character and say, what is the most important thing about this character? Like, if there's a one or two things that you want to represent in terms of power fantasy or the look or the design, like, what those are, right? And that communicates to how it looks, how it plays, how it feels, and how it sounds, right? So hopefully, uh, you know, we, we do every single character justice by looking at uh, each character in Marvel, in Marvel Rivals. You'll be able to tell, okay, I know what this character does. They, you say Venom looks like a horror coming out from the movie. And yes, it is a horror <laughs> coming out from the movie. Uh, right. hey, thank you. It's, I am really looking forward to that release. I'm going to spawn camp yeah. this game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. All right, next up. Unstable Gamer. 
Oh my <laughs> god. Hey, what up? I haven't freaking seen you it, in like five years. It's Marvel been a Revolution. while. <laughs> Marvel Revolution, right? Hey, Danny, team. Um, first, yeah, I had an opportunity to get into the game. It's a blast. Love it. Can't wait to see more of it. I had a couple questions really quick. What um, Have you had much thought behind the character release schedule? Um, so once the game finally launches, does it look like one a month, one every other month? Kind of any thoughts around that? We have a timeline and a plan. Uh, we're not at, in a situation where we can actually uh, publicly announce how that's going to be, but we've got a long-term roadmap in place uh, for characters and maps and modes and things like that. You know, there's, there is definitely a plan, a planned release schedule. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go into too much detail. On this. In the future, though, we do plan to share that roadmap yeah. and talk about it with the community. So that is awesome. Roadmaps, very cool. Um, and the other thing, and because you know, you guys know me, mobile games. With you announcing console, any conversations around? Mobile. Any conversation around what? Mobile. Around mobile. mobile. Oh no! For now, so we announced for PC and console, and then plan to focus on. Them. Okay. Cool. And this game run on Engine Five. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to yeah. talk to you again. Good to see you. Thanks. Hi. I, I know I was just up here. I thought of two <laughs> more questions. <laughs> um so when you're playing the game a lot of the times it feels like there's a too much audio clutter going on for example say both scarlet witches all at the same time it's the same exact voice line do you guys plan on changing that so different teams have different voice lines so it doesn't yeah, we, you don't you know who's ulting we've heard that feedback before and that's something we're actively looking at okay perfect thank you i can't remember the other one so that's all. <laughs> Come back when you when you remember it. Definitely will. Thank you. It's very typical. Hello. It's a pretty typical, Hello. Hello. It's a pretty typical rake. rake. <laughs> I have some really good questions. Um, so for the monetization aspect of the game, one of the I've seen like a lot of um criticisms, I guess, that will you guys like put the characters behind like a paywall well we're not going to sell power like, we're going to sell vanity visual customization great, yeah. things of that nature so there's right, no cool. gameplay balance changes through the monetization aspect okay great and then second thing when I, when i was some of the maps have like like the payload maps sometimes like the chokes like they, they have extremes basically um some of the maps have like huge cover high ground and lots of open space but like the next second it, it can go to a very very tight area there's like extremes which i didn't really like like would you guys ever change that i mean certainly there are all kinds of different map styles we've been experimenting yeah. with. That, that kind of feedback is the stuff that we as a development team love to hear you know so keep telling us your feedback and we're gonna we're gonna listen to all of the players now obviously we can't do everything all the time but we are trying to make the best, you know, most fun experience we can for Marvel Rivals. And that kind of feedback is really important to us. Yeah, the most important also is cover the most players, right? Maybe maybe some people just have difficulty going through a tight corner or yeah. a, 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 a wider space. So, I mean, if you... There, there are so many different types of players. Like some, some are strategists, like, like to use the environment to their advantage. Some just like to shoot everything that moves. Right. Some, some just like to hang back. Like there are so many different type of, of uh, gamers that we hope to bring in to to have a different variety of flavors across the map. Well, that's a great point, Danny. And I, I think that the different types of characters have different abilities. Some are good in tight spaces. Like if I get magic into a corridor with some long range characters, <laughs> I can wreak some damage. So I think you know also you're able to change up your character based on the play space you're currently in the map is one of the things we hope players will adapt to. It's not one size fits all. Yeah. So great feedback. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, second thing is that will you guys ever add like a healing passive to make or like make it easier to find a health pack with like a lot going on? That's something that we continually look at and tune. Uh, that's a relatively easy change for us to move those around. So again, your feedback is critical on that. Like 
oh, in right. this spot I found blah blah blah, and we forget a lot of a lot of uh, signal about that specific thing that that indicates to us this is a good spot to make a change. Yeah. So keep that feedback coming, man. All right. One last thing. Um, I, f- I felt like like some like most of the ultimates are just like big AOE explosions. And I feel like it just for me it just scales poorly, and I, I don't really find it interesting. I don't know. Will you like every guys change that? I mean, or... again, like we love the feedback, and we're always looking yeah. for new ways to allow players to be successful. If there are other alt ideas you've got that aren't like that that you think would be phenomenal, please suggest them. We'd love to hear them. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good pretty typical. Thank you. Thank you. Is good? Yeah. Good for time. Oh, ready to go. Hello, everyone. All right. Uh, hey, we, sorry, guys, we English is not perfect. Last two, okay. okay, last two. Okay, I will ask two questions. How many <laughs> servers do we have in beta? This is the first one. The second one, it's like, can we have a sniper character like with a scope at least? So what was the first one again? How many characters? How many servers? How many servers? Oh, servers. <laughs> so we can tell you we're going to have servers in North America, Europe, and some other regions, right? I have. Okay, that's good. I, I personally fought for. Don't quote me on this. That's confirmed. Like I fought for a North Asia, an Oceania, a Latin America one as well. So to cover as much player base here as much possible for the better. So you're in good hands, and and we'll see what the dev dev team can do. Okay. The second question: Can we have a sniper character? Sniper. Like with a you know, I would love for a character request and the gameplay request. Keep them coming. We can't uh, say that definitively we're going to do that or not do that. We have got a lot of different characters to pull from and a lot of different criteria for how they need to work with the team or, uh, you know, or are they iconic? Are, are they curveballs? Are they a deep cut? And so on. So that's a, it's a really complicated question. And we really want to hear you guys in terms of which characters you think would be a great addition. So uh, sniper character, you know, who are you thinking of, for example? But Nightcrawler in 2099. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right, thank you, OGS. We'll try to squeeze one more in. Cool. Hello. Oh. Hello. Cause... Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. I know, it's you again, but the job's not finished. Job's never finished. Yes. All right, so two things. One's a little less serious than the other, but first things first. Is that room hot? Because it looks hot. Yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> we, we got a fan. Good eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for the second question, which is a little more important, uh, but I'm not sure if you guys can like answer it directly. Probably not. Is in terms of the way that cosmetics will be in tandem, such things, there was that currency that you had credits, uh, but. Will there be also like a loot box system or just earning it through free play or something like that? So, go ahead. No, no, please. Yeah, so in terms of monetization stuff, well, we'll explain it down the line. But you have experienced that in the alpha where you go through the battle pass. That, that's, that's something we will, will continue to have. You have your activities, your, your weeklies, your dailies. Like all those stuff will continue to roll in, into beta. And we're trying to expand that. And if you haven't seen that system inside, most likely you won't see. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. No, well, thank you guys. That was all. Uh, I love oh, yeah. you. Oh, we love you too. So for everyone who didn't get a chance, we might be back tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a, we're gonna have a session, another session. This is this is a great way to celebrate with uh, you know all, all the support that you have given us here with the team, and we thank you. And we will see you on Discord and tomorrow. We'll announce the time. We'll be back. Gather your question overnight. If you have anything, come come ask us. We'll see you. Bring that passion. Right. We love Cheers. it. We love you. See ya. Bye, Cheers. guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Thad. Thank you. See ya. Cheers.